Welcome to the Ameridroid parking lot. Today we'll be discussing different ways to read the speed off of your vehicle for projects like in-car instrument control panels or cruise control or other things you might want to do by automating your vehicle. Let's get started. If you have a front engine rear wheel drive vehicle you'll have a, a crankshaft like this and by mounting a magnet and a reed switch and bringing the wire up front you'll be able to get a pulse every time this magnet comes around. The downsides to this approach is that you need to have a really strong reed switch and a really strong magnet and it's susceptible to the environment. So now I'm inside the vehicle and as you can see the instrument panel has already been removed. And if you do that, you might find that you have a, a speedometer uh, cable coming from the axle already, in which case that makes it quite easy. This is what it would look like on this vehicle. There's a square part that spins inside there, a square rod, and then the round housing. And I 3D printed this to go inside and put a neodymium magnet on there. And if you look, this is a square key here. So you can put that on there and this will spin when the vehicle's moving. And you should be able to read that magnet off of a read switch. Now the fourth method is to use a GPS like this. Odroid GPS unit, and you can mount that in the distance magnetized. And I've got a metal dashboard, so that mounts nicely to there. The downside of the GPS is that it only refreshes about once per second, so you won't have a very accurate reading of your speed when accelerating. Okay, so I'm driving in a vacant parking lot and as you can see the speedometer cable there is spinning uh, so that would be able to be read off of a off of the read switch hooked up to an Arduino or at Mega or other microcontroller you could potentially do it with a single board computer but the speed that that will be spinning at highway speeds would be a little difficult for a single board computer to read reliably. So that's the task best reserved for a microcontroller. Now here's my test speedometer running on an Odroid using GPS and a view touchscreen. Right now the GPS is the only one that's working. And as you can see it's doing a reasonably good job of keeping up with the vehicle. Alright, that's it for today. 